All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mass Market. Thank you very much for tuning in, being patient. What's up, Ernesto? What's up, Pantry? Good to see you on the chat. Hope you had a wonderful day today. We got Bitcoin currently trading underneath 44,000 right now, 43,921. Uh, Dogecoin still hanging above that 1350 mark. We actually hit that 14 cent mark we've been talking about throughout the week. So we'll kind of touch base uh, here in a few minutes once a few people, a few more people get in here. We'll go over some. Uh, Support resistance, kind of what we think is going to happen here in the next couple of days here with Doge. But we hit 14.13 today, and then we came back down underneath, and we're trying to hold that 13.50 level right now. So everything's still looking pretty positive, so we'll uh, touch base on this here in a few minutes. Um, what's up, Alex? How you doing? Crypto Joey, how you doing, brother? Good to see you in the chat. Really appreciate y'all being uh, some channel members. Um, really do, man. So thank you all again. Give people a few minutes to roll in. What's up, GP? Hey, I saw your message, man. Um, you picked up some of that uh, that stock we covered last night. Let me pull it up here. The UVXY. That's actually not a bad play, man. I'm happy you did. Um, I didn't pick that up yet, but I'm definitely working on it, so. That's flipping market. Sign me up for some tendies. Absolutely, bro. Uh, so no cam tonight. I'm. Uh, I was doing something and I ended up messing it up. So I'll be back on cam tomorrow night. So pre really appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Um, so we'll just go ahead and get cranked up. Uh, Dogecoin here off the four-hour chart. You're looking really, really nice. Uh, you have a really nice bull flag waving in the wind. Um, kind of broke down 1326 there, 1413 high of that four-hour candle. So eight-hour period. You had a pretty good fluctuation of almost. Uh, you know one cent so uh pretty significant for doge so we're trading sideways I, i'm hoping this continues on uh if we break down to the downside you might end up um you know going back for that 14 retest here off the 14 uh off the four hour chart here so that is currently sitting at right at 13 cents so i think from this point on uh 13 cents is going to be some pretty good um support for us moving forward here in the future so um, I'm really, really glad to see it. It's really looking nice here for Dogecoin. Uh, currently trading at 1363, down slightly uh, since the new chart reset on Weeble here for the day. So, uh, what's up, BD? Um, Bulldog Trading dropping at Diamond 149. Super chat. Appreciate you, brother. Good to see you. Uh, yes, I don't have the eggs, so. I'm going to try to schedule that for tomorrow night, bro. I'm not going to be on too late. Uh, I actually needed to get with you. Got a few things we need to work on uh, here on the side. So I'll get with you after the live stream, bro. But thank you very much for that super chat. Uh, thank you, Matt. You really helped me out when I first started trading. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, Alex. I appreciate you being a channel member, man. That really means a lot to me. Uh, we are a small community, small channel. So uh, every bit of support helps, man. So really, thank you. Uh, really appreciate it. <laughs> what's up reporter good to see you in the chat man if you got any questions let me know um we're gonna go over some ta here uh pull up a few stocks sundial did pretty good today uh beyond up uh 7.96 percent nesto i know you end up getting rid of it um but don't feel bad about it man um nobody can time the top perfect i think mullen ran a little bit today evs did pretty decent earlier in the day so we'll talk about some potential ev plays i dropped nicola 
a couple weeks back. I don't know if anybody actually even picked none up, but that ran as high as uh, 20% earlier before we saw some pretty good retracement off of that. So uh, EVs did extremely well. Tomorrow's Friday, profit taking day. We'll probably see some pretty good, uh, you know, uh, maybe a little neutral day, some profit taken off those big runners for the week. So we'll see what happens. Um, squints like Clint Eastwood, pencil man. <laughs> that pencil man, get him off my screen. GRT, get it why it's hot. Get it why it's hot. Yeah, I can pull it up. Pull up some trading view. We'll get GraphCoin going. Uh, GraphCoin looking pretty decent. Up 1.36%. Really nice ascending level of support here off the one minute. Kind of pull back to the four hour chart, kind of get a better idea of what's going on. So, uh, making a reversal, uh, can't quite. I think you're looking for 51 cents to get over. I think you'll get it. You kind of got a double top action here happening at 46, so uh, you do have a 46 retest possibly in coming here shortly. So, um, I'd be looking for that 46, um, maybe even 45.7 as a double top formation and if you can break over that 46 you could potentially start running to 48 even 49 cents so that's kind of what i'd look for for a possible rejection where you see some pretty good pullback uh 50 cent pretty nice even level right there um 51 yeah i think 50 to 52 you're gonna see some pretty good pullback off of that and then maybe look to buy back in a little bit cheaper but graph coins um been on my radar for quite some time it is a good play good uh really good project uh, I just have yet to pick me up any. So that's what I'd be looking for here in the short term. I think you're pretty good uh, for 40, uh, what was it? 46 retest here shortly. So we'll keep our eye on it. Uh, Intel stock, yeah, we'll check it, reporter. Still made some tendies, so I'm not sweating it. Absolutely, bro. Now you got the right attitude, man. You made some pretty good tendies this week, man. I'm proud of you. Adam E redeeming that seven month membership, man. We've been rocking for a while, bro. Uh, what's the channel bring? Uh, gains, son. Straight gains. Uh, Matt's bringing that knowledge uh, nonstop. Thanks for what you do, brother. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, you keep me up to date uh, during regular, regular market hours, dude. I love popping in my earpiece. Listen to you on Bulldog Trading, man. You, you make the day fly by, brother, and you keep me up to date with what's going on in the market. So thank you, man. So uh as of right now guys everybody's wondering what's going to happen at this point so this is exactly what we talked about the past week we wanted to see for dogecoin at 14 cent level what we were looking for i uh, kind of went on the whim last night and said 1450 we didn't quite get it but you know it is what it is and uh real quick let me answer that super chat thank you crypto joey for that five dollar i'll make you holler super chat my friend really appreciate you helping me keep the lights on brother uh thank you thank you very much so we talked uh, possibly about hitting 1450. That was a little bit on the higher side. Uh, I felt more better. Uh, I felt better calling that 14 cent test, which we hit 1413. Uh, that's not to say we can't move up tomorrow and do the same thing. But Bitcoin's starting to see some retracement. Uh, I was hoping we would hold 44, but we're going to fluctuate a little bit, man. We had some pretty nice run ups. Uh, so we'll see how the weekend treats us. Hopefully it's a good weekend. Of course, we will be live streaming here um, every night this weekend, keeping you guys up to date with what's going on. Uh, I'll try to be on as much as possible, but uh, as of right now, 43.956 is where we're currently trading off of Bitcoin, and uh, kind of what I'm foreseeing for Dogecoin for the ne next day or two <coughs> is possible consolidation. We might see a little pullback right here. I think we're going to sideways trade, test this 13.50, maybe break under a little bit, and then look to retest that 14 because we are well above that 14 last retest we had on the 14 was on the 23rd uh you know two days ago so i am expecting a retest of that um 14 here uh into tomorrow possibly even uh early saturday uh saturday morning so i think we'll see it tomorrow uh but i do think we probably gonna see a little bit of a pullback 
retest for some support and then see if we can get back over 1350 once again and uh, i think if we dip below it that's gonna be a tall tale sign to see if we can pop back above it so we'll just have to see what's going on with it and um see how the rest of the day plays out tomorrow but look guys uh don't fret we're just probably gonna see a little tiny pullback after the run we had that's totally fine it's totally healthy it's well within range um but you never know what could happen it could take off from here you just don't know depending on what bitcoin's doing uh which we're gonna pull up the btc chart here give you guys an idea what's going on bitcoin's still looking beautiful so you know there's a chance you might not even see that 14 again um for next day so we'll get into that let me get this super chat coming in from my boy uh adam b aka lieutenant likes damn straight alex mass market bring huge gain son thank you man appreciate it brother you're making a grown man blush over here but thank you very much man for dropping that love really do man Uh, the market makers are pricing in the seven interest rate hikes. Uh, they have to price everything in. Yeah, just like they priced the oil in before it took off, man. Uh, they definitely are pricing it in. I don't know if we'll see seven. Uh, I, I'm leaning more towards four or five, but uh, we probably will see quite a few uh, this year. So, um, also using BTC to buy oil and gas overseas. I hear the ruble. Yeah, it is, man. So, um, yeah, it's also gearing. Uh, you know, it's heating up over there, man. Um, I saw the like in the grocery stores in Russia, like they have no sugar. So like these people are fighting in the grocery house for sugar. So that situation is escalating. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I, I try to cover a little bit here and there, but just make sure you're paying attention to that because everything going on on that side of the world is definitely gonna affect everything right now. We're, we're in the clear for, for the short term time being right now. And uh, of course we've been pumping pretty good. Bitcoin hit 44,399 before we got rejected. So, um, I'm continuing to watch it. Uh, I do think the market's going to see a little bit of a pullback here, guys. The 14 exponential here off the four hour chart is still at 42.945. So I think maybe a, a retracement to 43 and then a bounce and we have a continuation. But we just steadily been, you know, in a really nice uptrend, setting higher highs and higher lows. The chart's looking wonderful right now. Uh, what's up, Tito? Drink Doink is going uh, way, way up. Get in while you can. Appreciate that, uh, Mr. Tito. I've never heard of it, bro. Dink doink. But I uh, appreciate you, bro. Um, so, guys, what do we have here? Bitcoin. Um, so, we hit 44,000. I'm looking, you know, if we see a continuation, a very good chance we could start hitting that 45,000. That was the topper end of my spectrum off this pump. What we were going to see. I, I can't, you know, of course, guarantee anything. But... I do feel like there's a chance we could hit this 45 uh, level off this pump. Um, and I'm saying that a little bit more comfortably. Uh, now that, you know, we talked about 44, we're there. You know, what are we going to do? We're going to see some type of consolidation that would favor the bulls uh, tremendously, especially at this level. I think if Bitcoin starts uh, to consolidate a little bit right here, it might give XRP, ADA a little bit of chance. ADA has been rocking, man. Um, it might give some of these other cryptos a little chance to take a step up and then see a continuation. So I'm paying attention to what Bitcoin's doing right now. Super, really, really close. Um, I think Ethereum hit our price target of 3,200 today. I'm not sure. Um, let me see, uh, 3,143. So we are well on our way to hitting 3,200 right here. And if we break that, uh, it's a pretty clear shot to 3,350. So that's another big mover that I'm possibly looking for uh, to happen by tomorrow. Uh, honestly, Ethereum's looking a little bit stronger um than the rest of the market along with bitcoin so uh that's a tall tale sign we could continue uh this little rip that we're seeing right here so um i'm not bearish yet guys i'm still pretty bullish i think we're gonna you know maybe exceed those price targets that we gave you throughout the week which was 3244,000 off bitcoin and of course 14 cents off a of doge so uh we'll that is uh i have to clarify that's the importance of joining the discord too as well guys um i'm um if you guys need anything throughout the day, I'm pretty much available. So make sure y'all join the Discord. I'm going to post the link in the chat. And feel free to utilize that too as well. 100% free for free free. Um, Sand Mana Engine Gala. Yo, check it out, bro. Metacoin's now... Okay, so Metacoin's not moving. Kind of wondering why. Like the Metaverse had a really big pump earlier. Um, 
a couple months ago and a lot of that was due in part where facebook changed its name to meta uh, meta protocols and meta everything metaverse was hot so that that has since cooled down so you're in a cool down period where everything's going to kind of go go down find some support and trade right there for you know quite some time until you, you get that next little energy bump you know some hype about the metaverse you get some breaking news that everything metaverse is going to start climbing again so i'm not against um you know sand mana i love those two projects i think they're going to treat you well any project involved in the metaverse of course is going to do well again it's just the question is when um engine gala gaming cryptos love them gala man i, I really do like gala um i know a lot of people in third world countries use gala um so uh, the thing about play to earn crypto is these people that live in third world countries can play a video game earn some crypto instead of having to go work 12 hours in the sun hauling shit up a mountain they can just play a video game make the same amount of money so uh there is really good use cases for uh play to earn crypto games so what's up just bum how you doing bro good to see you uh what's up turbo fire man where do you think ethereum tops out on this mini bull run that is tough to say man um thank you for the question that is extremely tough to say um i was looking for 32 32 and we're approaching that man we really are bitcoin's taking a little pullback ethereum's still looking pretty strong uh 3200 is my target and i've said it throughout the week we still haven't hit it yet so to go a little bit higher it is possible i kind of want to see what happens when we hit 32 before i can give you a solid number where our next step up might be um and this is all going off of ta and sentiment that i gather throughout the market so um the pump the continuation of this little mini bull run whatever we want to call it is uh looking very good man um i've said it a few times i don't think it now is the time to be bearish i think now is the time to be bullish um, but the time to buy was the past three months when we sat here and looked at the charts dip and dip and dip and you know there was a lot of pain in the market that was the time to be buying up because now you're starting to capitalize off of that that um dip that we saw so um where do i think ethereum's going hopefully this isn't a mini bull run hopefully we take off and start busting um back forward closer to 35 but where are we going to go in the short term it's tough to tell i think 3200 we're going to see it we're pretty much there right now um not far off from it 80 bucks um next level up is going to be 3350 i do think there's a potential you could see that but bitcoin's going to be have to be trading at uh, 45,000, which 45 46 that 44 and 46 that's a, that's a channel in itself off of bitcoin and um you know you can pretty much market to that 32 and then 3350 for that 46 44 and 46 off of bitcoin so i do think we hop in this channel and possibly get a test at 3350 but things can change pretty quickly man so we have to just try to stay on top of it that's the importance of tuning in every night to the live streams guys uh, if y'all could hit the notifications too um that way you get notified every time we go live we'll keep you guys updated but as of right now i'm, I'm seeing 32 and uh once we get that confirmation ethereum could break out on its own and head straight to 3350 and not even worry about what bitcoin's doing it has enough market cap to do its own thing it just uh usually doesn't so we're gonna be watching this 3200 uh for a possible rejection or a breakthrough point um it's still unknown I think you see some type of rejection at 32 it's just me personally that's why i'm a little little weary about telling people you know 33 50 and then 35 that would be the topper end of this pump right here but it is possible where we're currently sitting and um i think if we break that 35 we could go on a pretty good fucking run um like this mini little bull run because we can call it a mini bull run that's what exactly what it is could turn into a pretty nice bull run so um we've been in a bear market for the past three months um and we talked about that guys look i don't know if y'all have been uh hear me say it but you know on the daily and i showed this before this is like a two to three month period right here boom we shot up same little scenario two to three month period we got a reversal what do we do next and i, I always thought we'd get one more good pump out the market i i can't say that in good faith because that is a big step up that would take a lot of momentum to bring us up to above seventy thousand. 
but I'm hopeful for it. And but you can't trade off a of hope, guys. You get absolutely fucking wrecked. So all I can do is kind of go off a day by day uh, technical analysis and um, what's kind of happening in the market. So um, Ethereum. Let me pull that up. So Ethereum, I am looking for 33.50, and then currently right after that, 35. And that is where that 200 exponential off the daily is sitting. If we break that, we're going to go on a pretty nice freaking run. Um, I do believe. So we'll just have to see how it plays out. When we crossed that daily last time, you know, we're trading at 1600. That was back in uh, the, the summer uh, in July. And we finally crossed that thing and we took off, man. I mean, that brought us to that brand new all time high at 4871. So, um, you know, we're starting to hop back and uh, getting close. That bottom right here was uh, some Fibonacci. I need to expand that, which I will. I'll probably handle that tomorrow night. Uh, we'll go over some pretty good TA, start popping some more Fibonacci lines and getting all that. I need to clear up the charts before I try to do that here off the live stream though. Um, ETC. Ethereum Classic. Uh, this is another one that's been rocking and rolling, guys. I don't think it's quite finished just yet. Uh, we're starting to bounce at some pretty good levels of support. So either a good entry point or I want to see if we continue uh, this little uptrend that we're seeing. So 14 is hooking down. The 50 is still coming up. So anything could happen on Ethereum Classic. It is starting to hunch over. When we hit the $50 price target we talked about, where are we going to go now? 47.16. Uh, we can still see a continuation bounce off that 50 exponential. I think a lot of people took profits. Some people took profits here. Some people even took profits here. And this is a double top formation, almost a triple top formation. And I think someone was watching this very heavily on the charts who's uh, Ethereum Classic Well, They saw or test, okay, got rejected. Test got rejected. They said that third test, oh shit, you know, we're having a red candle, boop, sell off. You know, we found support pretty quickly. People bought the dip, triple, uh, triple test of uh, support got the clear bounce all the way back up to 50 so we'll see what happens here shortly let's see if we can set up for another double top of 50 dollars here see if we can get a break and then after that 5207 so a few more levels to get over and then uh there's a pretty clear gap between 52 and 58 so i think ethereum classic is going to set up for a 50 retest but uh rejection off that wouldn't be too good i think that would be a clear indicator some people would probably take some profits so you know, it is Friday tomorrow. The weekend is coming up. Maybe look for some profit taking. Um, hopefully we have a good weekend, but, um, you know, we'll report it either way. So. I was looking for Bitcoin to go to 46, 47K area that may be cool or retrace a bit. We will see. Uh, it's very possible, man. 46 is your next big level to hop up. And look, to be fair, man, I hope we see 50K um, soon. And that would be an awesome retest before we see some pretty major retracement because we're going to retrace, guys. Nothing goes up. Y'all know that uh, we hit all time highs. We come all the way back down, you know, lower than what we were before we even started the rip. So um, it is possible. I'm hoping we get 50K out of this pump right here. But that's hopeful. You can't trade off of hope. You get wrecked. So all we can do is take it day by freaking day, guys. Um, so uh, Dogecoin, I do think, has some really good potential here. Uh, it is consolidating pretty nicely right here after that 14 retest and you were, you know, trending tight within this channel right here. We drew between uh, 1350 and 1375. So we'll see how it plays out tomorrow. We'll know which way we get a break to the down or upside. Um, but I'm looking for a 14 retest. I, mean, I think it's going to happen. That's why I'm thinking a little bit of pullback might be in order uh, between now and tomorrow. So. Um, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Uh, let's check out uh, a few little stocks beyond that thing ran 8%. Let's check out Sundial. Sundial ran 23% and then another 16% aftermarket hours, bringing it up to uh, 86 cents right now. Uh, this would be a straight FOMO play. Um, that is straight up off the four hour chart, uh, even the 30 minute chart. Just green after green after green after green after green, hitting a high of 90 cents. So. Uh, we'll see if we see a retracement back to that uh, 14. This is the 30 minute chart. Uh, I'm sure the uh, 14 is well below it. Yeah, it's way down here. Um, currently trading at 63. So I think you're going to see some retracement. Uh, maybe Sundog breaks a dollar, but it'd take quite a bit of volume to do that. Um, 
How's GME looking for tomorrow? Absolutely, bro. We'll check it out for you. Uh, let me some GME. Um, I I did not look at the chart uh, today for GME AMC. I think it was uh, slightly green, so pretty much sideways day. I thought it was going to be a little bit of a red day. I called it like 5% down. Um, so, yeah, it's looking good, man. It's consolidating. If you can get some volume, and look, you'll probably get some volume stepping in early on Friday and maybe get this break above one, uh, 150 right here and then look to uh, shoot up pretty quickly to 160. There's not much in the way between that 160 mark right here. So uh, you got a few little levels in between, but I think it's very uh, possible you see 150. I do think you'll see a 160 retest off of GME, which give it a pretty good day tomorrow to close out a Friday. And remember, they got... Um, options expiring the money so the uh hedge funds will be on the battlefield tomorrow heavily in these uh these meme stocks so you have to pay attention i think the options uh, i saw something about the options were uh, a little bit higher volume than normal off of gamestop especially with all the hype we've been seeing so uh pantry 150 160 is possible i mean you're you're at 142 but it just depends who shows up to the fight tomorrow. If, if the, the Bears just show up to win it, uh, I mean, it, it's going to go down, possibly looking toward that 200 exponential. But that's at 110. You know, I, you got plenty of support at 125. Um, I am expecting a red day, but you might get a bump before you get the red day. Uh, hopefully we see a continuation of what the meme stocks did. Uh, GME, I mean, for a while was comfortably trading at 200 bucks. So maybe we're starting to see that reversal heading back, but I think out this next little pump, um, you know, who knows? Maybe 148 is the top tomorrow. I'm just kind of giving you my personal opinion. I think uh, if you have a good, decent pre-market, and I think if you open up around 148, you could get a retest of 160 tomorrow. So uh, what's up, one shot? How you doing, bro? Go on, um, What's up, Turf Lord? How you doing, bro? Good to see you one shot. I didn't look at IMV, none of those yet. Um, IMV. IMX, I mean. I always say IMV. I don't know why. That thing, uh, 216. Not too bad. I think that's where I was looking to pick some up at, 215. So I'll continue watching that. I haven't really been keeping up with uh, my trading view account too much. I've been kind of watching Doge and Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. But um, I also bought some spell the other night. So I'll take a look at that too and kind of see what's going on in that spectrum of the realm. Let's pull up spell real quick. I was supposed to update you guys on spell last night. So spell looking uh, incredibly uh, well, and this thing uh, is coming from some pretty good highs. Um, way back when, uh, you know, two cents range was the uh, the high that they're showing here on Trading View. But this is the same little setup that Jasmine did before Jasmine ripped back to four cents. So um, we could potentially see a pretty good spike here off of uh, off of spell. It trades sideways for a uh, good majority of the time, I think you're gonna start to see a, uh, a reversal on spell and potentially have a pretty good spike back to the upside off of, off of this. So uh, this is a pretty cheap uh, coin right now. It is a pretty good price in my opinion. It's available on Coinbase. Uh, do your own research, do your own DD, but I did add a small position into spell. So uh, I would, um, you know, check it out. You might like what you see. So um, let's check out AMC real quick. AMC looking the same. A little bit of red today. Uh, hung tight. Regular market hours uh, only down two and a half percent. Still above twenty, and then aftermarket drop below twenty. So yeah, we might see a little red day for the meme stocks tomorrow. So uh, depending on pre-market, I think if you wake up pre-market, you see some pretty good green. That would be a pretty good indicator. Once the market opens, man, all gloves are off. The call options expiring in the money. We'll see who shows up. Uh, could be anybody's guess, about 801, who knows, but could be the battle for 20 tomorrow. Uh, mass market uh, out of IMX, 
and LRC. Um, which one do you feel end up having the best success with their GME involvement? Um, that's tough because I, I can't really, uh, I can't tell you the IMX part of it because I don't know. Uh, I know uh, LRC has pretty good stuff going on. So as I, I'm gonna have to do some research on the IMX uh, side of things because honestly I haven't and I don't want to comment on something I'm really not knowledgeable about. But um, I do like the LRC aspect of everything. Uh, what's up Travis CRPT, CRPT. How you doing, bro? Give me one second. I got to check sometimes. This is stocks and crypto. So, um, yeah, CRPT. I see what you're rapping about, man. Okay, I can't do nothing with this. So I'll just bring this over here, show you guys what's happening in this aspect right now. Up 162.33% today. What is going on? I do not know. I've never even heard of this crypto. There's so many new cryptos out there. Um, looks like uh, 1225 of last year, this thing launch, maybe, no. No, it's longer than that. Okay, we got the launch date right here, 18. So it's been around for quite some time. And you see some pretty good spikes off this thing. I personally, like if I was holding this thing, I would sell the crap out of it right now. You up 163%, you see these big spikes, big spikes straight up, it's coming right back down, buddy. Even lower than where it was right before it started pumping. So I would have to imagine you, you come back down and man, I just don't know. I would take profits off of it if it was me, but that looks pretty good, man. I didn't even see that today, so good call, man. So, um, where are we at? Um, just buy XRP fellas. Once the horse is released back again, other platforms, uh, could rip. Yeah, man. I mean, dude, XRP is, uh, I don't talk about as much as I used to. And you know, it's taken a while to play out kind of like Doge, but you have to understand it's, um, in the midst of a lawsuit, it's going to take some time to play out. But XRP is, yes, that's that's a bang for your buck at 83 cents right there. Um, let's kind of pull up the, the TA on XRP. You know, we're approaching that 84. We hit 86, uh, drop back immediately. But we're trying to get over 84. I think we, uh, you know, if we can't right here, we'll see a retrace to the, uh, the 50 exponential off the 4-hour, which is at 81. And then look for a continuation kind of when i'm riding this thing up the 50 off the 30 is pretty well it rides it pretty good uh which is at 83 which is not too far uh pretty much where we're at 83.96 so we're actually uh currently just dipping below that might be heading for a 200 retest here which is 83.24 um so that might be a good pickup uh off of xrp and then ride it over this 84 cent range which I do think we get the break. This is a really nice looking chart, nice ascending level of support, setting uh, lower highs and higher lows. So um, higher highs and uh, higher lows, sorry. Tongue twister right there. Uh, one shot says, look up some Ada Matt. Absolutely, bro, I love Ada Cordano. Um, this thing is rocking and rolling, man. Starting to hunch over a little bit, so I'm, I am watching it. Uh, coming off a nice little pump here all the way to 120 and that was our little price target that we talked about the other night Saw some retracement dip below the 50 here off the 30 But we're trying to come back but that 14 is hooking down So I am paying very close attention. This might be a good time to take some profits off of Cordano here in the short term But that could turn around pretty quickly um, You know that is a pretty nice run up healthy retracement definitely in store You do have support right here with a 14 exponential sitting currently at 106 you know, you could see a pullback to 106 before you have a continuation. You know, we rode this 14 strong all the way up before we had this major pump right here. So I, I think the whole market kind of does what this is doing right here. We see a retracement on the four hour all the way back to the 14 and see if we can hold that because if we don't, that's going to be the top right here. And this is going to be profit taking time, which is super important to know right now. So, um, you know, because if you can sell, uh, you know, above 110, you can look to buy back on this uh, 50 
which is sitting right underneath one dollar you know so um, definitely something to watch for uh, you know that four hour does not lie you always come back to retest so I am watching it it is starting to hook up you are starting to get a golden cross but uh, and the market react accordingly. You saw a pretty good pump. Those other golden crosses we were seeing off the four hour where the 50 exponential crosses over to 200, uh, they weren't as strong as this one. This one's a little bit stronger and I am more optimistic at this point, but 44,000, um, that was our price target for Bitcoin right here. I do think it can go a little bit higher, but I need to see what happens tomorrow. I need to see some type of consolidation with a little bit of downtrend and then reload and then look to make, make a few more steps to the upside. So. 3200 still waiting for that off ethereum that was our price target but i do think we hit it and uh of course we'll let you guys in discord um keep you guys updated what we're doing in the market because uh like i said you never know you never freaking know uh it's really tough to judge i think we are heading for a 14 exponential bounce off the four hour and i think we uh start to rip after that um so we've been riding the 50 we dip below it so it is getting a little bit weaker since we hit 120 that resistance i think that was some profit taken right here so let's see if we can set up for another 120 retest and uh it would be super strong if you see a 120 retest um so i will be paying attention between now and tomorrow night no i think it's only on a uh, kucoin app uh i don't sorry one shot um, I'm lost. REQ was uh, listed on Binance today, pumped to 28 cents for a little bit. RE oh, request token. It was listed on Binance. Yeah, it's looking nice, man. Uh, a little stair step action up. We'll see what happens. Uh, you did get a spike above that previous top so let's see if we can consolidate and continue spiking but the chart looks pretty uh pretty decent right here so uh we'll see if we have a continuation but we are still setting um lower highs we tried to break the trend let's see if it continues on but uh that is request up 1.32 percent hello spike probably off the listing um so we'll continue to watch it but uh let me know if you got some uh terp lord Let's see a green weekend, says Alex. Man, I hope so, uh, because I'm going to bring the heat. I hope we fucking have a ripping weekend. Um, I can't wait, man. Oh, I got you one shot. Uh, the partnership establishes an up to 100 million fund in Immutable X's IMX token, uh, which the parties intend to use for grants to creators. Oh, for, yeah, for the NFTs. I heard something about that, so okay cool no i like that bro uh, i really do um that could possibly that could possibly be it bro that's a big deal right there one shot gt uh yep so cool man uh that's kind of what i'm feeling about the market right now look we hit our price targets i'm happy with it i did not um take any profits yet but i, I am watching it closely because you know, like I say, I'm not trying to get burned again, not riding this thing back down to uh, below 40. You know, I'm going to take some profits off this rip, so I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on. But, you know, as of right now, the key level that I'm looking for now that we've been pumping pretty hard is that 50. And that 50, uh, let's go with Bitcoin, kind of give you guys a better idea because that's going to move with the rest of the market. Let me widen this up. So that 50 is currently sitting at 41. So pretty much 42,000 right now. Uh, I would get a little bit bearish if you would see a break underneath 42. Uh, here in the short term, I think we could see a uh, quite a bit of sell off. And but look, it's tax time. People are getting tax money, and um, you know I do think it's time to ride the wave up. Uh, you know it's exactly what we're doing after buying a dip over the past couple months. Uh, no, Adam was asking if uh, XRP was on Binance, uh, which is oh, okay. I got you, bro got you man um so adam uh you don't have any xrp bro not financial fried rice but uh xrp dude is a very solid project man i would put my name behind it i do think you're gonna come out of that lawsuit well ahead and uh that's a three four dollar token easy all day bro easy all day man so uh not financial fried rice but anything under one buck for xrp 
you're not gonna be mad at yourself bro even if it dips some more treat it as a gift my friend because that is a blessing in disguise man you're gonna you're gonna get some pretty good nice returns off of what you're seeing right here so um i'm not sure matt would uh yeah i do the same bro i buy it off of kucoin bro so that's where i pick mine up at so um that's the best way that i found to do it so So as of right now, top right here, 44,399. And we've been stair stepping up, having some little weird tops right here. This is uh, looking a lot more solid. If we consolidate under 44, I can see us breaking above it, heading back to 44,9, pretty much 45,000, uh, hopefully by this weekend. I hope we have a live stream, Bitcoin 45K. That's gonna be the fucking title if we do get there. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. Um, so, that's pretty much what we got in the next show, guys. If you got any stocks or cryptos you want me to go over before we hop off tonight, I'm not going to be on super late. Um, I got a big day in store for tomorrow, and um, I got to go wrap a few things up for that. But I just wanted to hop on, touch base with you guys, let you know that we are hitting some pretty good targets right now. Um, so just be aware. Um, you know, we're not quite seeing a market breakdown. Everything about the chart still screams bullish. This is a four hour chart. Still screaming bullish. You could drop all the way back to 42.9 and you're still bullish. So just keep that in mind. Um, no, it's all good, Adam. All good. I have AMC for 48, 20 and a half. What do you think? Uh, 48, 20 and a half. Um, 20, 20 is a big level right now, man. Um, it, it, it's tough to say, bro. Um, when is that? A week and a half away? Is that next week? Let me uh, pull up the calendar real quick. So that is um, two weeks from now. So a lot can happen in two weeks, man. Uh, hopefully we go on a run and you'll be sitting fine. But, you know, that's that's, that's, uh, that's tough, bro. That's tough to call. I think you'll be okay. I, I would feel comfortable with it. Um, but 20 and a half, uh, yeah, you'll need to start seeing some pumping going on. That That's betting that, you know, you don't see a fall within the next two weeks, which is a pretty good possibility. So... Hopefully you can gain some steam. Stay well above 20, man. You'll be sitting fat. But just continue to watch the markets every day, man. That's the best you can do. But I do think uh, AMC 20 and a half is definitely doable. I mean, you're currently trading right underneath 20. But that's going to be a big day for tomorrow. I think if you close above 20, you'll get some pretty good momentum. And I think next week could start off to be pretty well for the meme stocks. So you're looking pretty bullish right now, man. Uh, you know, you might have a 1942 retest coming in here off the four hour chart so that's kind of what i look for um solana yeah dude solana i posted that in discord bro uh right when it was breaking 100 um today so i hit 104 we had the price at 105 for that potential top so um we're still making moves guys it's looking good it's not all gonna happen all at once so i don't like to see these big big moves all at once but it is positive and we're still heading in the right direction. So I'll take it. We haven't completely fallen out yet. So I'd like to see consolidation within this channel right here. And then uh, maybe look to break another leg up because after 105, there is not much in the way between that and 110 and then 114. So uh, Solana is definitely heating back. Look, the whole market's coming back right now. How high will we go? I wish I could tell you, but I, the market's looking good right now. So. We'll touch base every single night, guys. Give you price targets, what we're kind of thinking. As of right now, I'm waiting to see 3,200 and then 3,350 for Ethereum. If not, we'll start touching on the downside. Uh, everyone should do a dollar cost average on that coin. Look, if you can't afford to make big plays, yeah, the best way to do it is dollar cost average uh, weekly. You know, and that's not financial advice. It's just what I do. And that's what treats me extremely well. So also INTC 4850 and a half. Let me look it up real quick. Intel Corpse. Fifty-one uh, forty-five. Yeah, looking strong, man. It really is. It's looking pretty freaking decent, man. I'd watch this for tomorrow. It's up six point nine four percent. Pretty much six and a half percent today. So 
I would watch it for tomorrow, man. Um, you know, 4-8, that's a little ways off, but don't get too greedy, man. And you can make some profits, uh, but this thing could take off once again. But if it was me, you see these pretty good spikes, you always come back down. So uh, to retest the 50. So just know the 50 is trading at 49.60, which is uh, hopefully by the time you get the retracement, it's trading right at um, 50 and a half where you do have your calls at and you see a bounce. So I think two weeks, I think you'll be okay, just depending on the overall um, what's happening in the market. So XRP, I mean, no, it's all good, bro. Hey, if you need, bro, just feel free to message me, man. So, um, all right, guys, that's what I got for y'all tonight. Much love. I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Didn't want, uh, didn't do too, nothing too special tonight, but I got some shit planned for this weekend. So hopefully y'all can tune in. Uh, we'll be doing some giveaways and some cool stuff on the stream. So uh, I'm going to work on a few things behind the scenes. So if y'all need anything, hit me up in Discord, guys. Much love and appreciate all the love and super chats tonight. And um, really appreciate y'all. So that being said, guys.